Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY scrapbook kit using things that are already in your stash. It all started when I got this Paradise Crush paper pad from uh, First Edition and Trimcraft. Um, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, this textured papers, glitter papers. But my only problem with this is doesn't they don't really do anything to coordinate with it. I would love to see like a pack of buttons that were these colours or some ribbons or I don't know, some some things that go with it because there's only so much you can do with papers. But what I do like about this is that at least you can cu cut these out because some paper pads there's nothing to cut out and then it's even worse. But I have made some lovely things with this but I think in order to get the most of it out of it I need to put together a kit to to use more of it because I absolutely I absolutely love it. I picked up this um this My Mind's Eye Necessities um pack. It's eight sheets of um twelve by twelve. Um four are normal cardstock and two, uh, four are vellum sheets. I should probably take this pack up and show you what it's like. We have two packs of um Enamel embellishments, and then again with this, I've not really had anything enough to match with it, so I've not used it. But see, it's got like a lovely oh, wow, look at that, and then there's two of each of these. They're playing this really bright teal and I absolutely love them. They had all sorts in uh, TK Maxx where I got this from and I think it was £4 for the pack. So, I'll put those to the side. Right, now I'm going to show you what I've picked to put with this collection. So when I saw these colours I just thought, you just think holiday, don't you? And I have a lot of um, pictures from my trip to Spain that I never got around to scrapping just because I had that many pictures. So, um, I picked out this. I mean, I've used a few sheets. It's... Uh, Simple stories you are here, and I've not used it enough, and I'd like to. I had a 12 by 12 sheet of this transparency um, crepe paper pool side, and this is what I have left. I did use one strip of it, but I love this. I do want to have a nice gold theme with this uh, with this kit. I mean, you can pick out more papers than this, but as I've already got. Um, a full paper pad and then these, I don't really have to, but you can pick anything from your stash that coordinates. It doesn't have to be from the same collection. First I'll share the figures I've picked, um, which are these ones, which I've put in the pack upside down. They're by Amy Tangerine, Follow, it says. Yep. I love these. I've only used a few, but... So I've just picked out some stickers that I've not used yet. Does these have a these teal with a gold foil on. Um, some tags, I can't remember what brand these are. But they have like a, a stripe at the bottom. I love them. Uh, some gold uh, shiny triangles, sort of mirrored. Some teal sequins. Um, a nearly empty pack of uh, chipboard. Words by uh, Bella Bella something, <laughs> and finally some chipboard stickers by Carter Bella, which have a lovely summery theme. Then some coloured brads. Uh, I've picked out some mixed media bits here. I like to use a little bit of mixed media, not too much, but I have something. So first I've got this gold um, spray ink. Some, I got this the other day actually, uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops. And you sort of, you can make shapes with it and it, dry, it dries like an enamel dot, so basically it dries like these. It's great, I love it. I just picked out a couple of gelatos and some glass beads by Finnebear. 
and finally just got some little uh, embellishments some gold sparkly washi tape some of the zigzags and some of the flamingos on I love flamingos uh, some ribbon that's just found in my stash some little bows from Dovecraft Serendipity I'm gonna say I don't know if that's a word but that's what I think it is. Um, then some wood veneers by Coco Vanilla Studio. So basically how I put this together, I just kind of went through my entire stash and picked out things that matched the paper pad. I did sort of have three times as much stickers and whatnot here. Then I filmed the video and I, s I still thought I had too much so I really cut it down because you, only, you don't need that much in these kits but just don't put too little in that you're limited and if you feel like anything else in your kit in your stash that you want to use just add it in it doesn't matter just up to you what you use but this is a really good way of using up stuff that you want to use but you don't know what it goes with just sort of take half an hour to pick things that go together and it'll be worth it because you'll make something you absolutely love Alright, stay tuned for what I make with these, and uh, thanks for watching!